Greetings everyone. I did that video earlier where I was very mirthful that Facebook was down because Facebook is a bit of a cancer to society overall, but let's be honest, a lot of people use it and it's a vital link for a lot of people to get to other people. So I wanted to make a more serious video to go with me laughing at Facebook being down and how people will have to go outside and talk to real humans and sniff the pollen. And, and just talk about the actual situation. So I did some reading, and the problem is that Facebook apparently has locked themselves out of their own data center servers, everything, like their whole network's just gone. They knocked themselves out of their own routers. So all their stuff, they're cut off from their own stuff. And the people who know how to get into the routers and all that and set them up properly are very different from the people that are physically in the data centers that have to maintain the hardware and keep everything functional. Which means that there's a humongous knowledge gap and it may be a little while. And um, <clears throat> I found out that it doesn't just affect Facebook. WhatsApp is toast. Telegram is buckling. Like, I'm over here on Telegram right now. Every time I send a message to a person the little clock goes whizzing for a few seconds before my message can even be sent. Because Telegram is buckling under the load because WhatsApp is toast, Facebook and its messenger are toast, and uh, Instagram's out too. Um, that's a lot of people, a lot of social, a lot of communication that's shot. So Facebook messed up, locked themselves out of their systems, and now everybody who used all of their services has to find somewhere else to go for a while. Now, granted, it's going to be fixed, although apparently the problem's worse than just DNS, but <clears throat> it will be fixed uh, probably within a week or two. Um, it could be fixed sooner. It just depends on how quickly they can get the people in place to do the things. But this has sort of spawned a discussion for me uh, with other people about how good decentralization is, how bad it is when you rely on a single third party for all of your communications. This is the reason decentralization is good, and it, it sort of scales up. This is the reason that the United States is a union of the several separate states and not supposed to be one country ruled by a federal government. Um, every state is supposed to have the most power to do whatever they want, and the federal government is supposed to be very small, because this decentralizes the state, so each state is effectively like its own nation state. We have drifted over the past hundred years away from that. Likewise, Facebook is a nation state on the internet. It is a monster, a conglomerate, and as you see, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, that's three of the biggest social apps on the planet that a lot of people rely on. One person in the comments said, I can't talk to any of my loved ones because Facebook is out. And my question was, if they're your loved ones, why don't you have a phone number, an email address, some other way to contact them than Facebook? It's like, if they're really that important to you, surely you have some way of contacting them. And the truth is, there are a lot of people that are important enough to us that we'll have them on Facebook or some other social site, but we won't have their phone number. I have several of my family members that I don't have their phone number. I could get it by calling one of the family members that does, that I do have the phone number for. But the point is, there are a lot of people in our lives that aren't quite important enough to have their actual phone numbers in our phones. And those are the people that are getting cut off by this. But... This should be a moment for all of you to reevaluate your reliance on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, or any individual service. This is why it's great that YouTube, for example, has competition in the form of BitChute, Rumble, um, Odyssey, slash Library. There are all these other options that exist, like WhatsApp. You could be on Signal or Telegram, preferably not Signal, because I've heard some bad privacy things about them, but... Uh, and Telegram probably isn't the greatest either, but they're not WhatsApp. They're not owned by Facebook and thus siphoning data to, to the monster that is Facebook. Signal's owned by basically Twitter, um, Jack Dorsey. So 
you need to decentralize. You need to not rely on one individual service. People that are important to you, you need their phone numbers. You need their email addresses. You need maybe their physical addresses. You need to be able to get in touch with important people without using Facebook or their services. Or any given individual website. Diversify. And this speaks to the broader problem with this society. We've sort of decayed into this thing where everybody is on the internet, everybody talks to everybody else through a computer or a cell phone or a tablet, and nobody actually communicates in the real world anymore to speak of, um, or at least it's paled in comparison to the amount of people that socialize using Facebook. Now me, I'm a bit of a hermit. I don't really like to socialize all that much. I'd much rather get on my mountain bike and ride over there down in the, you know, in the woods or whatever, away from people. If I run into people, it's usually giving them a wide berth and going around them so I can keep riding my bike away. But I'm weird. Not everybody's like me. A lot of people are social creatures and they want to talk to other people. This is your opportunity to correct the way that you approach the world. You have a week of no Facebook ahead of you. You have a week of no Instagram, WhatsApp, or Oculus, whatever. You have a week where an extremely important service is gone. What do you do? Think about what you will do with your life if these services go away. Because at the end of the day, this can happen. This was going to happen. And the internet, the whole friggin' internet's gone out for a day before due to BGP stuff you know, a mistake in, uh, I can't remember, Turkey, I think it was, and <sighs> catastrophe, right? But here's the thing, if you're without Facebook for a week, what are you going to do? Well, if you look down at your phone repeatedly, you'll realize that you spend your life on Facebook. You have spent so much of your time not creating anything, but instead consuming everything. And the only things you create are minor low-effort things for other people to consume and go, oh, that's nice. Here's, here's a thumbs up. Here's an internet thumbs up. Here's a little blue thumb, a little blue and white thumb with a number beside it. Or here, here's a little heart, you know, with a number beside it. You seek internet approval from internet people that you haven't seen in years, maybe have never seen in real life in a lot of cases. You know, reevaluate what's important to you. Look at what you've done with your life. And really think about it. Do you want to keep just siphoning garbage on Facebook? Or do you want to do something? Do you want to be something, make something? Do you want to do something a little bit better? Because you need to diversify your communications, but you also need to diversify your life. And, it, and a lot of us are in the midst of unhealthy social media relationships, uh, addictions, if you will. It, it's just not good. And this is really... You know, I'm looking at comments just spewing past, and this is the perfect opportunity for a lot of us to just think about where we are, where we're going, and reconsider our paths. Have we been spending too much time on the internet goofing off? Maybe some of us are less productive than we should be. Maybe we should do something we're proud of. Because are you really proud of that souffle you posted a picture of on Instagram? I mean, you know... You cooked you cooked chicken tenders in a pan on your stovetop, and you took a picture and posted it on Instagram. That's great. Cooking's great. Does it matter in the grand scheme of things? Is it really something major to be proud of? Not really. I mean, anybody can learn to cook a simple dish. But if you make something more complicated, more interesting, something that takes more time, more effort, and you ace that, that's something to be proud of. And the thing is, you shouldn't be doing it for other people in the first place. You should be doing it for yourself. So take this as a wake-up call. Get off Facebook. Find other ways to talk to people. And then talk to them less through the Internet. If they really matter, maybe give them a phone call. In fact, I think uh, I may look into giving someone a phone call tonight. Or two or three. Because you know what? It's not like they've got anything else better to do, right? They would have been on Facebook going, ha 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 ha, ha that a funny may may, uh, a like, and, you know, now they're just going to be making sure their couches don't float away. So, make those phone calls, man. Make some real connections. Get outside. Go get rained on. Go ride your bike. You know, do something. 
Screw Facebook. I don't care if it never comes back. If Facebook doesn't come back, i got to be honest, it'd be a dream come true for me. Because on a grander scale, Facebook is a privacy nightmare. I'm tired of the fact that so many people are on it. And the big thing with social media, social media is not like any other kind of website. Because social media relies on social momentum. You go where other people are, not to the best place, but to the place that most people end up. And it doesn't have to be the best, it just has to be good enough to make them not angry enough to walk away. And Facebook is just good enough that people don't get angry enough and walk away. But it has languished for years, it is a garbage pile. And there's a reason that younger people don't bother with it as much. Partly because their peers don't, partly because it's garbage. So walk away from Facebook, find something better to do. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to go do something. I'm going to fire up Blender 3D, and I'm going to sculpt a 3D model of a bedpost with a fish with, I don't know, um, a, a goat horn hanging out of its nose. Like, it's a rebel fish. That's what I'm going to do. Right now, I'm going to pop open Blender and make the dumbest thing I can imagine. But you know what? Doing that would be infinitely more productive, more educational for me. It would give me something more interesting to show for my time in this world than going to Facebook, finding some group and a funny meme and hitting the like button and leaving a little snide comment below it. So screw it. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Look down there for links to support me if you want to give me money for running my mouth on the internet. I think I'm going to stop doing so many political videos and start just doing uh, more computer content. But I've isolated my political stuff to Jody Spicy Takes, so you can go find all my hot takes there. Eventually, I'll delete them from my main channel, and you'll only find them on that channel. So, thanks for watching again. Have a good one. Bye-bye.